We've all heard that if you could win the morning, you could win the day. One of the ways to doing that is to create regular rituals and routines so you don't have to think about what you need to do. And if you could set up routines and habits, especially early in the day, you could benefit from the science of momentum and create positive momentum as opposed to being reactive, like how a lot of people do. They, they pick up their phone the first thing and they start reacting and driving distraction and, and reaction as opposed to proactively spending time with self-care and self-love and having a vision and a direction for your day. So let's get into it. Now, as I jump into this again, this is my ideal day. So sometimes I can't do all of this, but I could do as many as I can. So the first thing I do when I wake up is I recall my dreams. When you're dreaming is that you're actually processing and integrating and working on solutions, your subconscious mind, to the things that you're focusing on during the daytime. But most people forget their dreams. After that, I get out of bed and I make the bed. Okay, and now this is something that is obvious that most of you do, but if you don't do it, take two minutes and make your bed because that's a success habit, right? If we're talking about positive momentum, the science of momentum, getting things done, checking things off, doing it with excellence, then make your bed. It's worth the one or two minutes because again, how you do anything is how you do everything and have a good check a mark on something like making your bed is very powerful because it teaches you to be able to do something really well and excellence like they do in the military. And the other benefit is when you come back at the end of the day, you come back to success. You come back to your bed already made. After that, what I'll do is I'll go into the kitchen and I'll have a tall glass of water because, you know, we we use a lot of water and most of us are very dehydrated at night. Uh, I'll take my supplements there. I, I take my probiotics, which is the big one, because your gut is your second brain. We talk about quick brain, you know, being your, your brain in your head, but you also have incredible amount of nerve cells in your gut. And so I want to make sure that's being fed and, and healthy, so I take my probiotics. Um, then what I do is I do my breathing, right? I'm thinking about the things I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on here. I'm thinking about excellence. I'm thinking about hydration. I'm thinking about oxygen. Whatever your breathing technique is, I focus on breathing. So whether it's box breathing or alpha breathing, um, whether it's Wim Hof's method, I do a breathing technique because I want to fully oxygenate my body and you know my brain, which is obviously part of my body also as well. And maybe we could do another episode dedicated towards that. I do my meditation in the morning and also later in the afternoon or evening, sometimes before I go to bed, but I always do an early morning meditation. I do it for about 20 minutes. Mindfulness is so important. So I want to have a clear mind as I enter the day. And so meditation puts me in that space, 15, 20 minutes. Some of you use Headspace app. Um, some of you use the Muse device, use some kind of technology. Um, I meditate then. From there, I do one or two minutes of just movement. And this could be different. It could be calisthenics, it could be burpees, but I just want to get into my body after I meditate. Um, and so I move it, my body, pretty intensely for a couple minutes. And it could, if I'm in a hotel room, maybe I'm just doing jumping jacks, but I'm basically, or I'm doing crunches for two minutes straight. I'm just waking up my body. That is not my exercise for the day. It's just for me to get my heart rate uh, beating and getting some movement and in my body. From there, I take a shower and I, it's cold shower. And I do believe in cold therapy. It works for me. It helps me to reset my nervous system. Ice baths are, are very powerful because it helps, like if you hit your knee, you put uh, ice on it to reduce swelling and inflammation. It's cold therapy is a very powerful way of resetting your, uh, your nervous system and reducing inflammation. So I take a cold shower. When I get out, I go through my normal routine, right, of shaving and, and brush my teeth, all that good stuff. Um, then I, I make a tea. And my favorite tea is like a brain tea. You know, it's a, it's a combination of go to cola, ginkgo, lion's mane, some MCT oil, and some other gems. Um, as I go through it, I sip my tea, and that's where I write my journal. And I'm a big believer in journaling. I've been doing it since I've been in college. And I feel like some of the most amazing thinkers of our time and in, in history, they, they journal and they keep diaries. I mean, you think about Edison, Einstein, uh, Da Vinci, I mean, their, their journals are, are, are priceless, right? Um, from there, uh, right from journaling, since I'm writing, and I like writing. Um, there's a lot of studies saying that handwriting is better than actually typing. Then since I'm writing already, I'm going to my to-do list. And we all have an ongoing, most of us have an ongoing to-do list of things that we need to get done. For me, the big thing is I just want to be able to accomplish uh, as a total win three things for work and three things personally. And they don't have to be all epic big things, but I just feel like that if I could get three of my work 
goals done on my to-do list and three of my personal things to do, then it's been a great day. And, um, you know, it's kind of like my friend Clay Bear talks about a champagne moment. It's like your champagne moment when you're looking back at the end of the day saying, yes, today was a great day. Today I crushed it. Today I won. And um, in addition to my to-do list, um, I also have a list, a uh, to-feel list, um, because I feel like we are a lot of our of who we are is our states and emotions and i think i don't want it to be just where i happen to feel a certain way by accident it's by, by its design it's the metaphor i always talk about the difference between a thermometer and a thermostat a thermometer reacts to the environment and i feel like sometimes if i act like a thermometer i'm just going to react to everything that's going on in my world and i just might have a, some good positive states as opposed to being a thermostat where i set in advance a standard a goal you know my for my to feel list certain feelings i want to feel throughout the day so i could design it that way to feel love to feel curious to feel bewilderment right connection uh, gratitude um I also have, besides a to-do list and a to-feel list, I also look at my to-be list. Like, who do I want to be today? And, you know, do I want to be a good partner? Do I want to be a good friend and a good, um, a good leader, a good teacher, a good coach? I feel into what I want to be that day. Because it's not just about, you know, we're not, it's kind of cliche, but there's a truth to it. We're not, we're not human doings, right? We're human beings. So who do I want to be today? Um, from there, if I have time, I will, and I'll make time for the things that are most important, is I read. I read for about 20, 30 minutes. So after my, I do my reading, then I go and I, um, I make my brain smoothie. Brain berries, which are your blueberries and avocado and your leafy vegetables um, and water and everything. And when I'm done with that smoothie, I go through my brain training in uh, one of our quick learning online programs at quicklearning.com. We have an online speed reading course, online memory course. Uh, thinking course, academic success course. That's where I do my, my brain training. And I like to do it in the morning because um, I want to jumpstart my brain, my mind, if you will, um, and also my body. And that's the, the goal for me, that focusing in the morning. Um, so after I do certain brain trainings, um, which are all in our programs, then I really start my day. 